Hey guys, Alan Morley with another fragrance review. Uh, this week, guys, I'm going to be doing my all of fame, fame fragrances. I've got 10 fragrances to share from my collection that I think deserve to be in the all of fame for my own reasons. I'm sure you've got your own uh, all of fame fragrances if you want to call that. You could put into your own all of fame as well. So, anybody watching this video, if you want to go and get a run with this, you can do. It's fine. Uh, I just wanted to get try things some different out of the box, you know. So I've got ten eight to show you out my collection. If you're interested, come back and see me after the intro. Cheers, guys. Thanks a lot. Cheers, guys. Thanks a lot. Okay, let's, let's, let's start this video. I've got these ten fragrances to show you. And those were all class of my Hall of Fame fragrances, things I tend to turn to, uh, I tend to like the scent profile, I use them more often than more sales than some of the other fragrances. And they've all stood the test of time, they're all still relevant to me, my, in my opinion. And so this is why there's in, they're in there as well. There's a few care balls for you as well, maybe something you don't expect, because there's some top designer names in there as well. So let's start the video. Here we go. This is the first one I was going to show you. Is the old Savage with a big 200 ml bottle. Had a great deal this summer and I bought it. And this was the first fragrance my wife bought me that got me into uh, collecting fragrances. It's still relevant in my opinion. It smells fantastic in the air. When you wear it, it lasts for ages. It does everything you want from a fragrance. Long lasting. Got lots of uh, power and projection, different stuff like that. So it's a thumbs up for me for that one. That's why it's in my Hall of Fame. Now then, number two, Look, just picking these at random guys, Aqua de Geo by Giorgio Armani, and this is the Pro Firma, nice silver spray, nice aquatic, grown up, masculine fragrance again, and this fragrance, it's, you know, uh, gives you the impression, I'm going to have my hair cut later, so when you come out the barbers, you had your hair cut, sometimes your skin is shy and they offer you a fragrance, it's probably when you come out. And this is the kind of smell that I can remember. Something similar to it's got a nice aquatic note with it as well. Plus it'll stand up to any season, you know, and this is what it's so good for. So that's why it's in this Hall of Fame video as well. Right now, just a little one at random. Now you could choose any of this line. It doesn't matter which, which particularly bottle they've got, loads. it's got the DNA in this this is what's the importance in this frame. Doesn't matter which one you've got, which flanker it is, just as long as it's got the Amarni code line DNA going through it. And I've got this one. This is the EDP. I've had this just Christmas just gone. And this is still like the original. But it's got a lot of going for it. You know, it's hard part form, so it just lasts a little bit longer. And it's got a lovely smell of that DNA I love so much about the Amarni code line. And this is a, a definitely all the fine fragrance for me. It's stood the test of time, it's been around for a long time now. And to me, it still smells like a, 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 a fragrance should smell, even for people from 25 upwards, even to my age, you know. So it's still relevant today. And this is why it's in the all the fine fragrances. Just put this hole in these other guys. Now then, let's get with a nice one you're more familiar with. And I know a lot of people think this one deserves to be in here. This is the old Al Savage. No, the, the old, sorry, Al, the, um, no, this is the intense version, sorry. And this has been in there for a reason, because everybody loves this. And it's got that, oh, great, oh, fantastic eyes now in this break. It's not classy, you know, it's all put together. It's a perfect 10 out of 10 fragrance, and this is why it's in there. So many people love this fragrance, and it's a cracking fragrance. If you're not, but anybody's not smelt this fragrance yet, try and get your nails on it. If you've got the money, buy it, you need to love it in your collection. <coughs> now then, I want to give you a rival to that now. And some people might say, no, that one better. And that's fair enough, but with this one, I still love this one. Also, this is Valentino Umo Intense. And this is one of my favourite fragrances as well. I love, well, it's beautiful. You know, it's like the Dior, but the Dior, I would say, just edges it. But this is very close. And I would still say, I love wearing this. It makes me feel, puts a smile on my face when I wear it. 
is a great fragrance. Do you know what I mean? And I would say this are the original and probably the best one so far. I've done. I've not tried any of the recent ones because it's a bit too much youthful for me at this moment in my life. You know, so I'm trying to stick with things a bit more at my age group. So this is why I love this fragrance. It's fantastic. Right, moving on to the next one now. This is the one I spent most money on up to date on my collection. It's the Instant Crush by Mansara. This is their take on Baccarat Rouge 540. It's got a lovely spray out. Got a magnetic top on this one. So this is the newer version. And again, you've got that BR 540 DNA to just fill in my room now in the kitchen here. You know, it's really powerful. Long lasting, it stays on your skin for ages, ages, you know. And I'm not had out to me yet, but I've had other reviews I've watched and all say it's a compliment magnet. I haven't had none yet, you know, but I don't all swear because it is quite potent and it is unisex as well. So, people, you know, uh, you either want to wear it or you don't. But I've got so many fragrances, just going into like a rotation. So, it is a good fragrance and it is worth it being in this Hall of Fame video. Now then, I'll show you for the first care ball or so that I tell you about. And it's this one. Versace Pour On. Right, now you think, oh, Versace Pour On. This has been around for ages now. Right. It's fantastic in the spring. It's a great dupe fragrance. If you want to go out somewhere for a nice, not an intimate like date now, but if you're just going out with your better half and you're just sitting down having a burger or something, and you're taking time to share a bit of time with each other with your day, you couldn't go wrong with this. It's not offensive. It's not going to spoil the meal. It's not going to overpower that situation. So that's why it's in there. It's multifunctional. And it is. Still got that scent, that scent DNA of the... That, that like... Uh, it's a bit like... I bet, I mean, it's a bit like the Chanel one. The uh, Alarm Sport. The oh, Extreme. It's a bit very similar to that for a bit. I don't know. Don't know the Chanel, but what videos I've watched. They're very similar. You know, but the Chanel is a bit high quality. Right now, this is going to be one of my favourite date nights, fragrances. And this is another 10 out of 10 fragrance for me. This is a more stronger with you intensely. Oh, I ain't going to spray because I ain't got that much left. But basically, this is one hell of a date night fragrance. They've got a scent DNA on it. It's brilliant. And if Marnie changed this, the what the lady's looking at. Because this is perfect. Another care ball now. Now I've worn this at wear quite a few times this year already. And it's an old classic, but it gets me compliments left, right and centre off people at work. And it's this one. Uh, David off Kill Water EDT. Yeah, some people like it, some people don't. But to me it's not that fresh. And when I wear this at work, people say, well, yeah, we're on. David off Kill Water. You know, this has been around for ages again. Stood the test of time. You can still get some use. This is a fantastic wear tent, guys. Put this on, people are now sit work and you're really getting compliments. I want to know where you've got it from. You know, and then now it's David off and how much they can get it for, and a big bottle as well. You know, and they go up and they start thinking about where to purchase it from. So it's still very relevant. On to the last one now. Now, this one caused me a controversy when it came out. I think more people in the fragrance community are coming around to it now because it's a beautiful fragrance. You just smell classy. And I predict, you know, on this video, in years to come, this will be a classic. This will be something more people want to wear because it's such a nice scented fragrance. It's this one. The All Hour 2020. This has got a... Oh... It's got cashmere in it, and it's brilliant. And it's just got a, such a nice, alluring smell. This has got to be a perfect date night fragrance. It's got to be a perfect office fragrance. It's got to be, if you, I mean, I don't know this because I'm, it's above my head. But if you're the kind of guy who has to go into business meetings and different stuff, I would say to you, put this on, guys, and you'll be as good as anybody when you're walking. Nobody will smell better than you when you've got this on. Honestly, it's that good. But that's my, that's my 10 guys, uh, my all of fine fragrances. 
Yeah, well, now you've all probably got your own version. You could be Creed Aventus in there, different stuff like that. Some of these proper niche fragrances. Yeah, good luck to that. You know, if that's the sort of stuff you like in it, you collect, you've probably got a lot more bottles than I've got. Go and run with it, you know, and create your own Hall of Fame list. And let's see what you all can come up with, you know, and put some of out there that people will start out. Oh, I don't know, that would possibly be said, uh, Hall of Fame fragrances. I'm going to put this in, I'm going to put that in, in case you want creative. So, please like, share and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you on the next video. Go and enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.